Where the heck have you been? I went for a walk. Ooh. At this time of day? I couldn't sleep. You've not been fretting about Alan Turner's car, have you? Of course a flaming well have. Well, I've told you, we'll get that sorted. This is not like getting a red bill from the electric, you know. I know. I mean, and you got me mixed up in your benefit fiddle. I don't know what's going to happen to me now I've missed that interview. I could be in big trouble, thanks to you. Look, banks are open in a couple of hours. <laughs> I'll nip it you up and rob one. You're not going to get out of this by laughing. What we need is hard cash, not one of your rotten jokes. Morning, gorgeous. I've made some coffee. What time is it? Time to get up. Give over, get back in bed. No, come on. I've got something to tell you. It's important. What? Come downstairs and you'll find out. Well, if you uh, fancy your walk tomorrow morning, uh, give us a nudge. Happen I'll uh, come with you. <laughs> Go tell what you want me to do. Oh, hey, uh, do you want me to make your breakfast? Have I told you lately that I love you? Pigs need feeding. I'll do it. No, you won't. I'll get it, I will. Not money for Turner's car today. I'll. I'll take you some. You better add. Where are you going? Thought you wanted me to feed the pigs. Right, wait till you look the part, all right? Black skirt, white blouse, and you keep smiling, and you don't let anybody's glasses get empty. I know what to do, all right? Well, you best, Dad, do, because I'll be watching you from start to finish. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to nick the family silver, do you? Hey, leave it, Leticia. And I hope you've made arrangements for him. It'll be fine. I'll be no bother in the kitchen. I am not having my party ruined by some snotty little kid running around. Individual lemon mousses. Marlon said you got to put them in the fridge. Right, well, I'll do that. There's a couple of more of these outside. And what time's Marlon coming? Oh, not until later on this afternoon. Right now, he's up to his neck in mushroom pate and chicken breasts. Snotty cow. Who does she think she is? She's the woman who's paying your wages, that's who. And who's going to look after Kirk? Well, you should have thought of that before. Oh, yeah, it's all right for you. You're going to be swanning around drinking champagne. Yes, I am. And for the first time in living history, you are going to be waiting on me, hand and foot. I can't wait. <laughs> you have to get up so early. I needed to think, sort a few things out. Like what? You and me. And? And I'm going to be honest with you. I could tell you that I love you. But I don't. And I probably never will. But I want to be with you night and day for as long as it lasts. Yeah? I knew you'd see it. I just knew it. You said we could go away. Yeah, we'll go away today, whenever you like. Yeah, well, I want us to go a long way away and I don't want to come back. Yeah, well, that's fine by me. We'll need money. Well, I'll get some. Well, I don't mean a few quid for some knocked-off fags. Have you got a better idea? Yeah, I have, as a matter of fact. But I'm not sure you're up to it. I'm surprised that you're up and about after the shot you've had. I told her she should be having a hot bath, a massage and getting back to bed, didn't I, my little casualty? She's so stubborn. Well, you know me, I don't like to make a fuss. Pour me another cup of tea, will you, Bob? Of course I will, my little angel. I'm not one to exaggerate, Edna, but when I pitched headfirst into that wheelie bin, I thought my time had come. It was horrifying. They're the devil's work. I mean, that's what I've been saying. Well, you're absolutely right. They're a public menace. And I'll understand if you can't face it, but you could be our trump card. What do you mean? Here you are, my precious. Oh, thank you. And I think I could manage a little chucky picky. Oh, yeah, good idea. That's perfect. your guess. Every great cause needs a martyr. Think of the suffragettes. Now, I hope you're not expecting my Vivian to go throwing herself in front of a racehorse. Of course not. I want you to come with me to Charity Tate and tell her what you've been through. 
Even she's bound to be moved. Oh, no, that's not possible. Not today. Not in her condition. Oh, it's all right, Bob. It won't be easy, but it is for the greater good. Are you sure, my little Emily Pankhurst? Well, this is no time to be thinking of myself, is it? Right. I'll do anything. Are you sure about that? Mm. Anything. Take haulage. And what about it? There's going to be a van there tonight full of mobile phones. <laughs> What's so funny? You're suggesting we nick a van full of mobile phones. You're taking the mick. You see me laughing? Saying Angie, the honest cop. No, hacked off Angie, soon to be out of work ex cop. Yeah, even so, you wouldn't do it, not you. All right, then forget it. Get out. What? You heard me, get out. I ain't going anywhere. No, and neither are we if you haven't got the ball to do this. You mean it, don't you? I've worked it all out. It's our chance to be together, but if you don't want to take it, fine. Shouldn't you be on farm getting stuff ready for tonight? What's it to you? Cos I'm gonna be there, that's what. Oh, keep away. I mean, enough bother up there already without you gate-crashing. Who said how about gate-crashing? All right for tonight, Danny? Yeah, just off up into Lee's now to get myself some new gear. Ooh, I bet you look drop-dead gorgeous when you're all doled up. I'll make you tremble at the knees. <laughs> any time, boy. Any time. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going out with that old bat, are you? Well, it beats skivvying. <laughs> I hope you've been giving young Danny boy a few tips in etiquette. I'll take care of him. You can depend on that. Yeah, he's a good lad. He's, uh, not exactly A-list, though, is he? Well, did you manage to persuade some short-sighted old dear to go with you, then? <laughs> She's a stunner. <laughs> Has she seen you? Well, you'll, uh, have to ask yourself tonight, won't you? Oh, I will do. Don't you worry. <laughs> Has that sign just gone up? Yes, he, uh, he must be from the estate agents. Well, they never thought to tell me. Why should they? Well, they'd be living next door to me. I mean, goodness knows who might move in. Oh, I'm sure it'd be perfectly all right. Mm, I don't share your optimism. If only we could choose our neighbours. <laughs> Whoever moves in, I'm sure they feel exactly the same way as you, Edna. Well, they'll have no trouble, will they? They'll have me. You're talking about a major theft. We're not interested. Just say so, OK? You said you had it all worked out. All you've got to do is break in the yard, get in the van and drive away. Oh, is that all? You can hot wire a van, can't you? Yeah, of course I can. Security's a joke. There's no proper alarm system. You can get in through the fence. Yeah? We meet, offload the stuff and we're gone. Well, the gates will be locked. There's a spare set of keys at the station. Who buys the gear? Thought you might know someone. I might. So, what's the problem? I know you're a busy woman, and I don't want to bother you, oh, but what's that? you are. Well, you're on scrounge. I mean, why else do you ever come and see me, eh? Talking about it alone. That's all. You know how it is. Things pile up. Yesterday, Lisa had a bump in the van, made a bit of a mess of Alan Turner's car, and he wants it fixed in pronto. You're unbelievable, you are. I paid for your flaming holiday and you get done for air age. You've got the social on your back, and now you come asking for more? Two grand. That's all I need. Two grand? Oh, well, you don't want much, do you? It's small change to you. Well, maybe so, but you're not having it. You are? You heard. The answer is no. We are dingles. We help each other. Yeah, but it's all one way, Zach. I'm sick of this dingle code stuff. You've tried it once too often. I believe in it. Oh, yeah. Well, only when it suits you. I've loaned you money before and you've never given us a penny back. That accident yesterday, it weren't Lisa's fault, you know. Well, then she won't have to pay for it, will she? Well, no, I mean, she, she bumped the car right enough, but only because she was mad at me. I'm to blame for everything. I'm not asking you for me. No, I'm asking you for Lisa. Oh, you try out, you will. What do you want me to do? Get down on my knees and beg. I am not prepared to give it to you, Zach. I'll pay you back. No, you won't. And besides, you've nothing else I want instead of cash. You haven't got out. I've got me house. Oh, oh yeah, you're going to give us that, are you? If that's what it takes. OK. You what? Bring the deeds round later on. I'll have the cash ready. I thought you all up were watching the place. Not round the clock. When? 
Well, there'll be a patrol. It'll drive past a few times. <sighs> like when I'm nicking the van, for instance. I'll find out. Oh? I'm going to go to the station later. Well, what for? Hand in my letter of resignation, sort out my last few shifts. I'll speak to DC Collins whilst I'm there. Not that idiot who's been coming on to you. It's his case. He'll know what's happening. I'm going to set him up. Oh. While you're nicking mobile phones, he's going to be in a pub thinking he's on a promise. With any luck, he'll get crucified. You've got it all worked out, haven't you? So, you're in? You're mad, you. You know that. I thought you were on for sick. Yeah, well, I'm OK now, so I thought I may as well come in and do my last few shifts. You're not on talk tonight, are you? I wanted to drop this off, my letter of resignation, and speak to Collins. Oh, really? What do you mean, oh, really? He's been telling everybody you two are an item. According to our Adrian, you can't get enough of him. Yeah, well, he would say that, wouldn't he, when I'm not here to deny it? I didn't believe him. I don't care whether you believe it or not. In a few days' time, this place is going to be history. No, I hear you coming. What do you want? Your ears only. I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of an interview. I'm going to be here for a while. Look here. Where's Charity? She's working, why? Well, can you tell her I've put another load of stuff in the fridge and I'll be back in a couple of hours with Marlon? All right, then. I'll see you later. See you later. Mum, could you do me a favour? Oh, Letitia, you can't disappear again. We've got lots to do. No, it's not that. I just thought Lisa might look after Kirk for me. Could you ring her? I can't do it in case Kane answers. Please, Mum. Go on, I'll see what she says. Thanks, Mum. Well, I wanted to give the bin a good clean after Bob's biryani had leaked out, so I stood on an upturned crate and I, I don't think I can go on. Oh, you're doing very well. Well, I reached forward, and then before I knew it, I'd pitched headlong into the bin. <laughs> you fell in. You think it's funny, do you? No, of course not, no. I feel faint just thinking about it. I told you they were a bad idea. You can't go blaming the wheelie bins. It were a one-off. You don't know that. And the next poor unfortunate might not get out alive. I shudder to think what might have happened. They've got to go. Before someone ends up crushed to a pulp, being pecked by seagulls. And while you're thinking about it, you can take a look at the names on this list. I've seen Collins. I'll make sure he's well out your way tonight. You won't let him do out? While you're on the job, I'll keep him busy. Then I'll give him the slip and meet up with you. When this is over, he'll look like a prat. Yeah, I suppose. It's too late to be having doubts. I know. Remember why we're doing this? Yeah. This time tomorrow, we'll be somewhere where nobody knows us. I don't care where I am as long as I'm with you. I will try and make this work between us, you know. All right. You better go home and get back, then. Before you go... What? I'll see you later. Only till I pay you back, mine. And you best make sure that you do, cos I won't wait forever. You want to see me? Yeah, come in, Jarvis. I think we've just about finished, Uncle Zach, haven't we? Yep, ciao very much. Jarvis? Hi, Zach. Only I've not finished my rounds yet. I hear Viv Ops had an accident with a wheelie bin. Oh, I, I fished her out, Dozzy Apeth. Yeah, and how did something like that happen? Well, because she hasn't got an ounce of common sense, how do you think? Well, you know, she's on about legal action. Yeah, we're our own stupid fault. 
you know, we've got nearly half the village up in arms about these new bins. Well, folks, I'll just say when something new comes along. I mean, look at computers and organic carrots. In six months' time, they wonder how they ever managed without them. Well, they're going to have to go. You are? You heard that they're causing too much hassle. As of today, we go back to the old bins. Here's to you, Danny. Cheers. Cheers. You're going to be the best-looking geezer at that party. Any Rodney? Not necessarily. <laughs> you know what they say about beauty? It's in the eye of the beholder. Susie! Hello, Rod! Hey! <laughs> oh, <laughs> you made it. <laughs> yeah. Susie! Oh, Rodney's mentioned you. Oh. Does your second name begin with a D? No. Oh. You're obviously mistaken. Hmm? Oh, me and my memory. <laughs> <gasps> it's desperate. I'm sorry I'm late, Rob. I had a facial and my nails done and flaming manicurist chipped one of them. Could have scratched her eyes out. Uh, drink. Oh, yes, yeah, please. Uh, vodka and tonic? Oh, give me a big one, Chuck. <laughs> oh. Um, where exactly did you meet our Rodney? Oh, at work. Ladies' underwear. Find a set of frillies, weren't you, Rod? Oh, was I? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> hey, you never did tell me who they were for. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Put a big one in there for me, will you, please, Pop? <laughs> <laughs> right, you need up on here, Samuel. What on earth is that? A new challenge. <laughs> hey, and before you say anything, I've got a licence and all. Have you gone raving mad? I thought you'd be pleased. Oh, no, you've not gone and nicked it, have you? Hey, paid for cash. What cash? What's he been up to, Sammy? Tell me, please. What, what, we've been into what and tell his shop. Courtesy of our charity. She's loaned us a bit to tide us over. <laughs> what about Alan Turner's car? Hey, hey check this out, Ken. Hey, top of the range. <laughs> Could get a few balls in tonight, you know, and uh, well, christen it like, eh? Ken? What's up with him? Never mind him. I want an explanation. Eh? Your troubles are over, Lisa. Got enough money off our charity to pay for the car and a bit besides. Yes, but why would our charity loan you that sort of cash? It's his family, isn't it? It's because he's given our house. Shut it, Sammy! But that's what you told me. You are joking, aren't you? Not exactly. What have you done? Well, I would we'll give her the deeds, that's all. What? Well, just a security till I pay her back. She'll take good care of them. You've absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> How is she? Shattered. She's had a very stressful 24 hours. Well, at least her suffering wasn't in vain. You must be feeling pleased with yourself. It's a victory for common sense and popular opinion. It's nothing personal. Do you know much about cricket? I was born in Yorkshire, wasn't I? I used to play a fair bit in my time. Spin bowler. Fascinating. It's all about patience, is spin bowling. Oh, come on, a batsman think they could cart me all over at shop. I might get it for a couple of sixes early on, but I'd usually get them at the end. Is there a point to any of this? Do you know what a googly is? No. Hope you'll find out one day. Come on, Bert, just come to tell you. I've got the telly working. Good. Oh, I take it you're not interested in watching. Yeah, that's right. Got something more important to do. Most important thing I've ever done in my whole life. Well, you seem happy about it. Oh, I am. I take it that you're going away with a certain person. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased for you. Yeah. If you've found something you want to do, then do it. Don't get old and start looking back thinking what might have been. <laughs> That's what I reckon. Aye. Here. Might as well take this with you. Good for getting stones out of uh, horses' ooze, that kind of thing. So. Uh... <laughs> Good luck, son. Cheers. Dad. Hmm? I'll take right good care of this. Aye. Hey, 
Steph, Danny, glad you could make it. Thanks for inviting us. Mm. Oh, good to see you. I must say, what a beautiful house you've got. Well, we like it. Tell you what, you two make yourselves right at home. Thanks very much. <laughs> What on earth she bring him for? I don't know. I mean, it's not as if a bloke could ever bring a younger woman, is it? Mm. Hiya, Sid. Hi. Oh, champagne? Uh, a, a charity. Rodney. Chris, can I uh, introduce you to you, Susie? Hiya. Hi. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hello. Hiya. Oh, you never said you'd bring me to a palace, Rod. Oh, uh, well, uh, it's be that. <laughs> I'll catch you later. I bet your old mum loves dusting this little lot. It's a lot of old junk, if you ask me. <laughs> Just cos you've got money don't mean you've got taste, eh? Well, I can think of better things to spend it on. You and me both, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Hello? Hi. Did you get my message? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Um, I didn't ring the back. I didn't get into my... It's OK. What's that noise? Oh, Dad and Ty are having a party. Do you like that? Yeah, it's dead boring, though. <laughs> Can't be that bad. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no need. I said some really horrible things before I left. It's OK. It didn't... Sorry. Ollie, please, don't keep saying that. And don't cry. I wish I was there with you. I've asked an awful lot of you, haven't I? Why do you say that? Some of the things I've done. They've been hard for you to understand, but... I do know what I'm doing. I'm gonna make everything on my own. Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Look, um. I've got to go now. You look after yourself, yeah? And give Mark a big hug for me. <laughs> oh, do I have to? <laughs> Bye, darling. Bye, Mum. Love you. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> you sure you can handle this? Why wouldn't I? Well, you're leaving your kids, aren't you? And I know how much they mean to you. I'll see him again. When we're settled, I'll get in touch. They'll understand. OK. It's not a problem. <laughs>